Oh, Yukino Joe. Is this a language? Is this uh, someone's like class project? These are so weird. <laughs> oh my god, this had to come from like an acid trip or something. Is it just ba? That's all he says? What's this wisdom? Sound reasoning. Oh, good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ball who? <laughs> Why can one ride a cloud and the other is in a plane, though? That was it. And that went viral, of course. Uh, of course. Okay, so what are your thoughts after watching that? Where do you guys find this stuff? It's funny. Uh, it's goofy. My thoughts after watching that video, um, I could do a lot less on YouTube and still make money. I have so little to say about it. I need to know what the context is. Did you like the video? I think maybe after a drink, I'd like it a little bit more. Yeah, I thought the dogs were cute. Yes, I love it. I love it so much. Thank you to whoever made it. Yes, because I love dogs. Sometimes when I'm talking, I make weird little noises that I feel like more accurately describes how I'm feeling. And I kind of have my own language. So I totally get where they're coming from. It's simple. It's brilliant because it's such a stupid concept, but it's executed. The dogs are barking to each other, but it doesn't sound like barks. It's just this weird weird language, almost Sims-like language, um, and the subtitles are funny. The wisdom the dog gave was, if your ball is too big for your mouth, it's not yours. What do you think of that life advice? You know, is that what it, is that what it was saying? I think I was just too like, I was trying to find, like look at the animations, but I, okay, so maybe I didn't read that part. Yeah, I, it, was, it, was, it was too complicated of a script. I actually missed that part, wow. Maybe there's like some hidden layer of something about like how, you know, if you feel like you're overreaching, you should take a step back and don't bite off more than you can chew. To be honest, I did not even like pay attention to what, like I was just thinking of what the hell is this? But that's a great piece of advice. And what did you think of the decision to end the video with them singing together? I love the song part. Unexpected, but great. Like a little bit of music to it. It's a pretty good pun. Like, I love a good pun. I think that's where I was hoping it would get better. I mean, I guess being a musician, I was like, oh, they're gonna sing. Like, sing me a song. But I'll leave it, it you know, it's a, it's a pun. It's unexpected. The song is well known enough that some pe most people will get it, while others will be like, "What the f are they singing?" Um, it just works, Benny. It just works. So far, this video has over three million views. As a person whose career is hoping millions of people will watch your videos, how does that make you feel? I mean, man, you know, they have cat videos with 15 million views, you know, it's YouTube, man. But whatever, I mean, we're all trying to make good content. I think that's why I love the internet. The fact that the strangest thing is gonna go viral. That's the internet. I feel like you can't get annoyed with nature. That's just the internet. That's the nature of the beast. I think it's great. <laughs> like, sometimes, I I even I'll put together something super random and then it does super well and I'm like, yes. The fact that this guy was just like, I'm just gonna animate this dog, only saying ba and like flying in a mini airplane and he's gonna meet another dog on a, like I can see him like storyboarding this all out with like the subtitles on it. I'm just like, yes. It doesn't really annoy me because I don't think the creator of that is like rolling in money and like exploiting it and like, you know, making toys and like, like that's his like, that's his like mantelpiece project. I think it really was someone just having fun. And if that's the case, I can enjoy the collective internet community just having a laugh at someone's really funny project. Um, but if it was like, someone was like making millions of dollars off of content like that, I would be very frustrated, yes. So to make you feel a little better, though this did go pretty viral, it does come from a YouTube channel that has a couple hundred thousand subscribers. What do you think of them for making this? Right on. I think that's good for them. Honestly, actually, like, I'll take that back. I'm not upset because if they're having fun with it, I can't knock on anyone for, you know, going after what they enjoy doing. I just wonder where the strategy came. You know, a lot of times when you're making content, you're a little strategic about it. Like, okay, this is gonna really hit this demographic. I mean, I guess the dog demographic is there. Mushrooms, uh, you know, <laughs> people, people do drugs, man. <laughs> Get it, whatever. You watch that and you're like, that person had to be on drugs. But it would be more endearing if they weren't and they just like really wanted to do it. So good job, guys. Next one, uh, cat please, cat request. <laughs>